Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Stevie Ray Vaughan called Texas Flood, and we're going to do this as kind of an easy guitar version. We're going to end up capoing on second fret. We're not going to be detuning our guitars and playing it just like Stevie Ray Vaughan, so if that's your thing, go find another video. Um, but our, for our intro, we're going to start on an E major chord, and we play E major. First finger is going to go to the first fret on the G string, the second fret is going to go to the A on the second fret, and then third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the E major on our intro, we're going to be going to an A major chord. We're going to play A major. First finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, we're going to be going right back to the E major chord. And then we do kind of a quick E major, and then we go to a B7 chord, and we play B7. First finger goes to the D string on the first fret. Second finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and the pinky is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B7 chord. It sounds really nasty, and it's not supposed to. So on our intro, and, and there's actually kind of a solo right after this that kind of follows the verse for them. We start out with E major, A major, E major, and then an E major, and then a B7. Now there's a couple different ways that you may want to think about you working kind of strumming through that to kind of fill time. This is a really slow blues and actually you could kind of work four down ups on, on each chord or at least until we get to that having part at the end. And you kind of feel it as kind of long shorts actually. This is called a, a swing eighth note. So I'm doing just down ups but I'm kind of feeling it as long shorts. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. So we tried that through our intro. We'd have E. Another way to kind of feel it is in threes because it's a slow blues and this is a little weird and it relates to something called triplets where you, you do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you're kind of doing down ups but you're feeling it in threes. So you're taking the E and kind of going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. through our intro we have E with a down Strumatics for a 4 4 like this, though, is down, down, up, up, down, up. And you could get that to work as kind of a really slow down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E and just tried that a lot. You have down. So we tried that through our intro, we'd have you e with a down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, up, E, down, down, up, up, down, up, E, down, down, up, E, down, down, up, E, down, down, up, E, down, 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 half those last two chords. Now something else I would think about adding to it too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the E major, you'd have the low E string would kind of be your bass note for that chord. On the A, you'd have the A string for your bass. And then on the B7, you'd have an A string for the bass. So what we could do too is, is kind of work bass down, up, up, down, up on all the chords until we get to that last part. You may want to work just kind of a bass down, up on the E, bass down, up on the B7. So we tried that through our intro. We'd have a U with the bass. Down, up, up, down, up, A, down. Now 
one other thing you may want to kind of think about using is, is some blues licks. And actually, this can sound a little bit cool. And actually, taking a little bit of all of this stuff and mixing up and figuring out how you want to cover it actually is what I really recommend. But if you take your first string and kind of go to the A string on the second fret, if you kind of take the pick and do just an E string and an A string strum, so it's kind of a two string strum, and I'm kind of going back to that down up idea, the, the swing idea. So long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Short. And what you can do is kind of do it down with the first finger and then take your third finger and go to the A string on the fourth fret and then do that same idea. So I got it down with the first finger on the A second fret, down with the, a, the third finger on the A on the fourth fret. So I'm going down with one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, one, three, three, which is a very, very cool thing I call the E lick. And two of the E licks kind of takes the place of that idea with the first finger and kind of go to the D on the second fret, you can kind of work the A string open with the D on the second fret and kind of get that same idea with that one, one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, one, three, three. So if we're going to try applying those licks to our, our intro, we'd have E, two, three, four, A lick. Down, down, up, or you could do it with the bass down, up, or you could do it with the triplets. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Which would be a really cool way to build up some, some in, uh, energy to lead into a, kind of our, our solo and our verse form that kind of goes through the rest of the song. And on that verse part, we start on E major, and then we go to an A major chord, and then we go back to an E major chord, and then we do another E major chord, and then we go to an A major chord, and another A, and then we go back to E. And another E, and then we go to B7, and then an A, and at the end we kind of speed up on our chords a little bit for something called the turnaround, where we do kind of a E major, A major, E major, and then the B7, so it's kind of like half in chords at the very, very end. We tried that with just kind of our swing eighth notes, then we have E with a down, up, down, up, down.
Let's stand up, please stand up, up, down up. Whenever you need bass, down up, up, down up. Here with the name bass, down up, up, down up. You with the Louis bass, down up, up, down up. You with the Louis bass, down up, up, down up. Here with the name bass, down up, up, down up. Here with the name bass, down up, up, down up. You with the Louis bass, down up, up, down up. You with the Louis bass, down up, up, down up. You with the name bass, down up. Try the, the blues licks, and we have the E lick, A lick, E lick, or E, A, A, back to E, and more E, and then we're gonna do the we do it. Now the weird thing is to play along with Stevie Ray Vaughan, instead of starting on an E major chord, he's starting on an F sharp major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is take the capo and put it on 2nd fret, and now your E major is really an F sharp major chord, your A major is really a B major chord, and your B7 is really a C sharp 7. So we took it through our intro and we talked about a lot of different ways that uh, we can kind of work it. We could do the E major with just kind of the swing down. Our, our triplet feel, and we have E, A, E, down, up, down, up, down, up, B7, or we can do our down, down, up, up, down, up, and we have E with the down. Bass down up up down up. And we have you the bass down up up down up. A with an A bass down up up down. You the Louis bass down up up down. You the Louis bass down up. Seven with an A bass down up. Or we can try our blues licks. And we have our E licks. A licks. From there, then we go into our, our verse chorus form. So we, if we tried that with, with, with kind of our, our swing eights, we'd have down, We could kind of work our, our triplets through the, the form. We have E, triple, 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 triple,
up, down, up. And you have E with a down. too is adding in some more seven chords instead of playing the E major chord, you could kind of lift off the third finger that's something called E7 or E dominant seven it sounds a little bluesy that way and you could kind of take the pinky from where you are too and kind of add it in on the E string on the third fret that's another way you can play E7 so you can kind of play around with that for the uh, for the A you could actually kind of take the A major and then lift off the second finger and that's something called an A7 or A dominant seven chord or you could even kind of take the pinky from there and then add it in on the high E string on the third fret. That's another way you can play A7. Or you could readjust your fingers if that feels better to you. So you can really kind of think about using that too. And then I, what I would really recommend actually is kind of taking a little piece of, of, of all the things that we were talking about and then kind of mixing it up. Because blues is really all about saying what you want to say. And actually there, there are little variations on those, those licks too where you may want to Try using different strings or adding in some pinky. stop time on the A and what I really recommend is, is this really really cool cliche of uh, blues turnaround lick where you can play the open E and then go to the G string on the open and kind of do a hammer on the first fret and then open high E and then third fret on the B string open B second on the G open G second on the D and then you can play open A and then first fret on the A and then second on the A and then kind of go do the B7 chord with kind of a up, down, up. And then you can go to the E or the E7 and just go crazy. And kind of big hit at the end. So that might be kind of a cool way to kind of end it right after that A. You got the B7. A. Da da dee da 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 da. close it off how you want to close it off but that's the basics of how you could easily strum through texas flood by steve ray vaughn so good luck